Good morning. Time to get up. It's 7.30 and I want to start hiking. Don't want to waste any time. <laughs> so I think I was half asleep when I was getting my food bagged down. I unclipped my food and then left the carabiner on it and then started pulling the rope down and then the carabiner got stuck around that branch. So I guess I just have to cut as much of the rope off as I can, try to save it, but I don't think the carabiner is coming down. On the trail this morning by 8.15, I did not eat breakfast at my tent. I usually like to, but I don't know, today I was just kind of eager to get on the trail and get warmed up too by hiking because it's still a little chilly. I have 17 miles left of the Shenandoah National Park, so I'm excited to get that done. Love this section, but on to new things now. And yeah, I'm just gonna eat some bars as I walk, and I bet these next 17 miles go by quick, because I think it's probably a lot of downhill too. I figured this was gonna happen. If I just walked like five minutes more last night, there would have been plenty of flat tent spots and full service on my phone. <laughs> but it was nice disconnecting for the night. I just like service though. A little morning view today. Nice little lookout right there. And it's raining. <laughs> So I just passed Skyline Drive for the last time. I have a little over one mile until I exit Shenandoah National Park, which is exciting. And then maybe like five miles after that, there's a main road crossing. And I might try to find a way into Front Royal. Uh, I don't really need to go into town, but like if everything works out, I think that could be fun. There might be Ubers, I'm not relying on them this time, like I was last time, but I think there's a better possibility of that happening. Alright, this is it. You are now leaving Shenandoah National Park and entering private property. Alright, I'm done with that section of trail. Now I've hiked through the Shenandoahs twice without seeing a bear, which I feel like this section of the AT is famous for having a lot of bears. So, yep, still haven't seen one. <laughs> I'm coming up on the road that could take me into Front Royal, so we'll see what happens when I get there. Also, 17 miles today, not a single through hiker. I don't know, it's so weird after seeing like over a dozen through hikers yesterday at breakfast to now I'm back on trail and I don't see a single one. It's weird, like, I don't know, maybe I just have a different timing than everyone, but I don't know. Uber was not a success, but I did get my hopes up and then ended up texting a shuttle driver who's going to be here in a couple minutes. So I'm going to go into town and then just try to do my thing and then come back out on trail and get some more miles done. There was something called the base camp in Front Royal, which had lockers to put your gear while you went around town. There is a washer and a dryer, so that's my clothes drying. I found an outlet and I charged everything while I was there down the hallway. This is the shower room where I was able to take a shower. They had little travel size packets of shampoo, conditioner, body wash that hikers could use. And everyone signs their name on the wall. There's my name right there, Nahamsha. 
There was even a box for loner clothes that you could wear while you did laundry and a hiker box. So I was eating dinner at Front Royal at the brewery all by myself and then these guys showed up. We got Big Willie Dog, oh, we got oh. Typical. <laughs> these are guys I met um, with Fresh Ground, I think, yeah. somewhere on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Or Daleville, too. Is that Daleville? Yeah, yeah. Daleville. So it's nice seeing some familiar faces again. Yeah. All right, I had a very fun and eventful last few hours in Front Royal, so I guess I'll explain what happened. So I got to that last trail, that last like trailhead parking lot, uh, VA Route 522, and I texted a shuttle driver that I saw in Far Out named Goldilocks, and she drove me into town completely free of charge. I think she works for the town or volunteers, and that's just what she does, so very grateful for that. She dropped me off at the gear shop where I was able to pick up a backpacking meal, some fuel and a carabiner because I lost mine in the tree this morning. And then the guy at the gear shop mentioned that there's like a place called the base camp like right behind his shop that has like free showers, free laundry, free lockers and like for a gear storage. And so I did all that. I did a load of laundry and took a shower. And then while the laundry was going, I went to the brewery next door. And then while I was there, I met a couple guys that I've seen in the past that you just saw in my vlog. And that was really fun. And then I mentioned that I still had to resupply. And so the guys were like, well, we're gonna, we're walking to the grocery store after this. And then we're getting shuttled back to our hostel. So I walked to the grocery store with them and then they called their shuttle driver and then their shuttle driver helped get me back to trail. And so everything just worked out so perfectly. And I'm really happy I went into Front Royal because I was debating it. Like I didn't think I actually needed to, but now I have another two and a half days of food so I can stay out on trail a little longer, maybe even make it to Harper's Ferry at this point. So all good vibes. I also got very heavy food. I'm also wearing the same thing I wore uh, while I was doing laundry. So I got rain pants on with nothing on underneath and I'm wearing like a puffy jacket. <laughs> um, so I think I might do either three more miles or five more miles to camp. It is almost seven o'clock, so we'll see. Yeah, and that's, you're all caught up. All right, so I did just pull over on the side of the trail and change back into my hiking clothes. It's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> it's too warm to hike in my sleep shirt and puffy jacket and brain pants, so this feels better. It started sprinkling a little bit, but I don't know. If it gets a little harder, I'll put my rain gear back on, I guess. So I could head to this camp site right now. It's 8.09, which is like one minute past sunset, but I'm actually going to go another two miles to the shelter because I remember passing that shelter on my through hike last time and it was absolutely beautiful. Like there's a porch and chairs and there's even like horseshoes there and there's just like a nice big flat field for tents. So I might have to hike in the dark a little bit, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And I'm just like, you know, feeling good after that really perfect town visit today. On the bright side, there's no more uphill. So I think this will go by fast. Plus I'm familiar with the shelter, so it's not like I'm gonna be scrambling looking for a tent site. I kind of have an idea of where to go and where the bear food pole is and all that jazz. So the moon looks full tonight. Good thing because that's the trail right now. I did just put my headlamp on though, so. A little brighter, there we go. That works well.